Hello, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and today welcome back to the crazy. After the last two episodes that I did where um, I tried something crazy with some neon paints and it just didn't work out, I thought let's go for a hat trick. Let's do something utterly crazy again and um, see if I can get three complete failures in a row. So today, as you can see, I've made up my spinner. So I was very much inspired by all of the uh, record pours and the spinning pours that Anne-Marie does and I had to give it a go. Now I can't get a banding wheel, the best I can get is a cake de decorating turntable here which by no means um, turns as smoothly or as quickly but you know it's the best I can do so I'm going to give it a go. So colours that have worked well for me in the past have been when I've mixed some blues and silvers with a little bit of white and some yellow ochre. So I thought at least I know these colours have worked well together. So if I go with these colours um, and maybe just a few other bits and pieces that I've got left over, I'm going to throw them all in a cup, I'm going to spin it around and I'm going to see what happens. So I'm going to mix up all my paints and then we'll get back and do some spinning. So I think I'm all ready to go. I've got my paints mixed. I've got a yellow ochre, a silver, uh, the darker blue, the lighter blue, some white just here. This one is just a tiny little bit of a teal that I had left over. Just, it's actually a blue and green mix that I've made myself from a previous project. And then a little bit of my magic sparkle medium, which I will also add in there. I don't have a lot of white, so um, we'll see how it goes. And then I can always pause and um, add a little bit more if I want to. So in fact, I think I will start with a bit of white in the bottom of this cup, and then add in some of these other colors. There goes my blue. I really like the squeeze bottles. I've only got um, four or five of these right now, but I've got some more on order. And it helps to, um, the most popular colours that I use, if I put them in these squeeze bottles, I can mix up a whole load at a time. And then, you know, they're easy to use, whether you want to do a, a dirty pour, a cup, or, you know, put it directly onto your canvas or whatever yourself. It's um, very convenient. So I'm going to put the whole of this teal colour in, because I don't have much of it. So I'll put the whole lot in at once. That goes in some silver because I think everything looks better with a bit of metallic and a bit of sparkle. So that goes in there. Now the dark blue I think is probably a bit overpowering. Wow it's thick. Goodness. Isn't that funny how that happens? It was fine just now. Just to add a bit more water in there. Haven't got much room in that cup. You ever get that where you've um, mixed up a paint and it seems absolutely fine and you come back to it a few minutes later ready to pour and it was too thick to almost pour out of the out of the little tub then that was funny okay i wonder if it's a reaction with the silicon because of course i've got everything mixed up and then i add a few drops of silicon and then just um quickly stir it again and i wonder whether the silicon actually reacts at all with any of the paints and causes the thickening, I really don't know. But that one had certainly thickened up. So there we go, a bit of yellow ochre. I think the in pores that I've done in the past, the yellow seems to go really nicely with these blues. A bit more of that one, lots of that one. More silver. Put some more white in at this point. Oh, my white's nearly gone. More yellow ochre. Lastly, a bit more of this dark blue. Anyway, I'm not too bothered that they seem to have slightly different viscosities because I think it probably helps with the making of the cells and the way that the, um, the paint mixes if you have some which are slightly thicker or thinner than others. So I'm going to fill up now with the rest of my white. And while I'm doing that, waiting for that to drain down, pour in a bit of my sparkle medium. Everything looks better with sparkles. Okay, I think we're done. And a bit more blue because I'm still not sure I've got enough paint. See, that's lovely with those 
um, uh, squeeze bottles, a bit more silver. I'd rather, because I've not done this with the spin before, I'd rather end up with too much paint and have it go all over the cardboard than end up with not quite enough and and then I've got the edge still to try and fill in and it's hard to re-spin. Okay. Right. So let's zoom on in and take a look. So there's the inside of my cup and it's looking absolutely fabulous. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to put that off carefully to one side because I feel that the dangerous part is about to start. I need to now hold all of this in place as I start my spin. I probably need my cup here because it doesn't spin for very long so it's not a proper banding wheel. It's just a cake decorating thing so it also makes a noise for which I apologise. I'm going to try and spin it as quickly as I can, transfer the cup to my other hand and then see what happens. No, false start. I need to spin it better than that. Well, I certainly had enough paint. I just hope now that I've left a little gap in the middle. Just hope that the paint will flow in and cover that gap. I might just get a paintbrush and just encourage it into that centre a moment. So I was so worried about not having enough to reach the edge that then I didn't actually fill in the centre properly. If I can encourage that to flow a little bit, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's good. It's coming in towards the centre now. I may just tip it a little bit. There's not a lot of flow going on because I guess a lot of the excess paint has um, actually flipped off the edge of the record with the spin. So I don't have an awful lot of extra paint there to fill in that centre. But I think that is going to do it. So clean up my hands. I'm putting all my cloths are in the wash. Just making do with little bits of tissue paper. So now that all the technicalities are over, I get the opportunity to admire my handiwork. I had loads of paint left over. Still got you know, a third of a cup there, so I probably only used half as much of what I poured. So that's good to know for the future. And in terms of how it looks, wow, I really like the, the spiral shape and the spiral almost within a spiral. Um, I've also got lots of you know small little cells, not a lot of great huge cells, but I'm going to give it a torch now and see if I can get a little bit more interest to come through. Now that is nice because that has now brought out more of the spiral and it's brought out the silver and I think this line just here is the sparkle so it's brought out like a spiral of the sparkle which I think is going to look really nice. Wow! So this has turned out better than I expected for my first try. Absolutely delighted with that. I should definitely be doing some more of these. In fact I've got paint left over so maybe I should go on and do something else straight away. Wow, that's really nice, except how am I going to get this off? I've got it taped down so much to this uh, spinny thing underneath because I was worried it was all going to just fly off that I probably am not going to very easily be able to lift that up now unless uh, I go and stick my fingers in it, which is one of my favourites. So let me just bring the camera down. You can take a look at some of these details and then, of course, I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's dry and finished. So here's our centre. Looks very nice. Lots of great smaller cells, especially in this central area just here. Not so much on the edges, which is interesting. Didn't get so much cells around the edges, even after I torched. But what I do have, I think if you can just see this little line here, is probably the, the sparkle. But again, hopefully that will show up nicely once it's dried. 
can never have enough sparkle, right? So there we go, that's what it looks like and hang on to the end and I'll show you the finished article. And here's the finished result. It's all uh, dried and varnished now. And wow, it's glorious. I'm absolutely loving it. The spiral design, all the interest with the fabulous cells, the way we have the little line of um, the silver kind of going all round and the, the darker in the middle. It's like a, a darker blue spiral and then outside a yellow spiral. Just absolutely fabulous. One of my absolute favorites so far. So definitely gonna have a lot of more fun with this record spinner. Um, on my stick with records, do other canvases and things too. I think you'll have lots, but a lot of fun with it. So give it a try and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop over and see me and some of the articles that I write about um, painting at acrylicpouring.com.